Hey guys, all right. In today's vlog, I wanna talk about what it feels like when you actually move from duality to oneness. What you experience, well, what my experience was, I'll share it because I haven't found people really talking about raw experiences that they go through. So this happened to me yesterday. And while I was in yoga, I began to feel like I've always felt like my soul resides in my heart chakra. It's out in the auric field too, but it lives in my heart. And the reads and over the years I began to think of what I felt as true because the closer I examine the chakras, the more I became to understand and the heart chakra actually has a Merkaba. So the Merkaba, if you break it down, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But when you break it down, it's two triangles, right? One pointing downwards and one pointing upwards. So when I started looking at sacred ge geometry, I realized, oh, the soul does live here because this is the only chakra that actually has a point, a, a, triangle pointing upwards and to me these triangles represent energy so when you have this triangle pointing downwards it's basically pointing to the rest of the chakras the the lower chakras this heart chakra is the only chakra that has the triangle pointing upwards so from here upwards to the throat, the third eye, and the crown. And the heart chakra, once the heart chakra is open, that is when your throat, third eye, and crown will open. So because of this analogy that I came to know, I began to feel, okay, I'm, you know, my feelings are right. The, the soul does live in the heart. But what's happened to me recently um, in my journey and my spiritual journey is I began to feel like this heart chakra this soul Has now moved Into my brain into not my third chakra Into my mind. I feel like and I don't even know if this is true Remember, this is my experience and my feelings. It feels like to me that my soul, which lived here very comfortably, I always like, I love like, ah, oh, this would be my stretch. But for some reason, I can, when I visualize my brain, and it happened in a visualization just like that, it was like, oh, the brain, the my soul is there now. My soul is my mind. Weird. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it because the one thing I absolutely know is not to question my intuition, especially God speaks very, your soul, which is God, speaks very, very softly, so I never ever question it. Now I know when my soul is speaking to me and when the ego is speaking to me. So I didn't question it when I started visualizing my mind, like my an actual brain, when I would be basically talking to my higher self or communicating or asking for communication with my higher self. It was a shift in energy, but a good one. And it made, it started making sense to me because I, it, where I am in my spiritual journey right now is I, I have the utmost resonation and respect for sacred geometry. So I have been really connecting with um, Metatron's, what is that? Metatron star, whatever they call that. So what I've been doing, Metatron's cube. So what I've been doing like in yoga before this soul extent, extension happened from heart to the brain basically, what I had been doing before that is I began to visualize, so first, Months ago, I began to visualize the Merkaba all surrounding me while I would do yoga. Then I asked the Merkaba to surround me all day long. Then 
I turned that Merkaba into Metatron's cube. And I began to see the Merkaba in my mind's eye spin, but what I did was I programmed it with my sigils. And my, my sigils are um, basically sacred to me, and they're drawings, most of them are numbers. And I pro the way I programmed it was I would be doing my yoga or I would start my meditation, visualize the cube spinning, and I and in here, in this area, I would draw out my sigils. Each sigil has, like I have one with two hearts. It's the number 22. And that one, um, it's like two dragons, it, and they're my dragons. They came to me in, in my... Ascension. So one dragon is pink, one dragon is green. From the number 22, they became these dragons, and these dragons over the years have have brought me into more yin. The pink one brought me into yin. The green one, yang, has always been there. It started in childhood, right? But it became suppressed somewhere. Then all of a sudden, these two dragons turned into my 22. My 22, that's not only my life purpose number, my soul, yeah, my life purpose number, sorry, but it is also my, when I see that number 22, it's love. It's, it's okay, my long part, long term partner is going to enter. So I would take the uh, cube or the Merkaba or Metatron's cube, visualize it, and I started drawing this, um, my sigils or my own sacred geometry and programming the Merkaba or the my, Metatron's cube, programming it with my dreams and desires and watching it spin and bringing the necessary people, the, just whatever I need to attract what, attract what I want, right? So I started doing that. And when I began to do that, that's when I noticed my transition. It took a few months, but I noticed I, the feeling from the soul going from heart into the mind. Now, I really have been resonating with the soul sitting in my brain because I have been more into the fact that the universe is math and that we, the brain, is our soul, but the brain is the last to wake up, obviously, because it also holds our ego. That's the duality, right? Now, the reason I wanted to do this vlog is because I feel like, I feel like I'm onto something. Now, why I feel that uh, I'm onto something that maybe the brain, if, if the universe is mathematical and our mind is the one that actually attracts things, then our soul is the heart mind. Like the heart is definitely electrical, obviously. Our whole body is, but the heart and the brain are the biggest electrical. They consume the most electricity, right? So what if both of them are, I started thinking to myself, what if the soul goes now that I'm awake, the soul can go mind, mind, heart, mind, heart. Because there is an institute that I love to follow called the Heart Math Institute. So our heart has a big, big, huge part in where the soul resides. Now, the duality comes from, so... The reason I think, oh, sorry, so the duality going into oneness and the reason I, I've been feeling like the mind is also your soul, where your soul lives, is because I have started feeling like when I see people or if I feel like someone's done me wrong, like this morning, I kind of, you know, I didn't even actually, you know, what happened during a text message um, an exchange of messages for this morning between myself and someone else, anybody else would have been super offended from the message that they got back. But I saw the message and I was like, you know what? She's probably, I can see, I could see her pain. I could see that that message wasn't really even towards me, but it was a reflection of herself onto herself. 
even though it was blaming me, but I didn't see it that way. I saw it and understood it to be hers through forgiveness. And for some reason, I'm a mirror for her, but I'm no longer in the duality because I've practiced forgiveness so much. And I, I and she's a great person, but she's just going through shit right now. And I literally, I didn't respond to the text message. I just said, okay. And it was so beautiful for me to go through that because I literally was like, oh, this is what oneness is. I didn't go through the duality of her mirror. I didn't respond to her and I actually gave her back compassion and love and understanding because I understood that if she's insane right now and then I respond to insane, then I'm insane too. And I've responded before. This is my first experience of like not being emotional about it or not feeling like someone has done something to me or reacting. That's oneness. And it kind of proves my theory of the brain, of how the soul's moved into the brain, because the heart can only do so much. But when you put the brain and heart together and the soul can live in both, back and forth, back and forth, you can attain oneness, I think. That's my experience so far. Anyways, love you guys. Any comments of how, what you've gone through? I'd love to hear. Um, I would love to hear. Love you guys.